Okay, so wasn't is that freaking big? Pretty big thing. I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna turn the camera around. I can't turn the camera around. This is the camera. Oh, I hate these phones. Inside this tiny little pipe is a tiny little pinprick hole. That is what got us stuck on the side of the freaking road. Pinprick hole on the street. So humility is one of those things that never comes in the most opportune time. Had a bit of a, uh, a leak, how to take care of it, did. Cracked my front windshield not paying attention. I'm an idiot and it sucks. Whatever, that's the last of my life. All right, so Courtney tells me we have to start jogging. I absolutely hate jogging. So this is gonna be, there you go, my version of jogging. <laughs> that's the only way. You're gonna give me running from anything that's bigger than me because I, I have rather die than run. <laughs> There's two kinds of men in the world. There's men that can buy a fire, and there's men that can build a fire. My eyes are so freaking bloodshot. So, first date with Trevor. We sit down, we're doing the quintessential, what do you do, what do I do? Not that our date was quintessential because there was nothing ordinary about it. Um, anyway, we're sitting down and uh, he tells me he's a pyrotechnic and a stuntman for film and television and I'm like right buddy I'm an actress <laughs> uh, but turns out he was totally legit and nothing could have prepared me for what that meant or what that was gonna look like for my life so I didn't know that seeing fireworks from ground level was even on my bucket list but turns out it subconsciously was somewhere in the back of my brain because it's the coolest thing ever. This is total weird love affair with fire. He's the way he just makes it out of nothing. Uh, he doesn't like to buy fire starter kits. He doesn't even like to buy firewood. He wants to find all the wood himself. He wants to make the fire by hand, by using nothing else. He's just this weird, I mean, he's not a pyromaniac, but a little, maybe a little bit. What do you think? He's so focused. So that's where the match will go in, right in that hole. So she said. Hey. That little guy right there holds that open. It's so beautiful. Wow. He doesn't just build tiny houses. He builds tiny fires. Look at that. It's beautiful. Of course it's beautiful. Alright. So our mission with this vlog really is... Hang on. So Courtney makes me these books every single year and for that's what we do for Christmas and it's oh it's just pictures from out from the entire year. So this is year one we were married, you know, wedding photography stuff, you know, all this kind of stuff that she's made for me and this is my Christmas gift. So as we travel around and getting things done work related, we're trying to get these epic shots no matter where we go. We've already gotten some stuff with paddle boarding and things like that. We want another one before we leave. And we found Acadia Air Tours, which is a really small business. They got a couple planes. They fly around Acadia, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and check them out. It's only 60 bucks, so couldn't really uh, say no to that. Uh, so clipped in the front, and then you wanna exit the vehicle. All right, you don't wanna do this while you're inside. Wait until you're outside, cause it's gonna blow right up. You gotta pop it. 
Oh, it's okay, so do it. Do it. Are you, are you scared? Welcome, guys. So we're flying around in a Cessna. I feel like our like social media stuff is turning into like a Lewis, like a adventure dog page because of how all this cool shit Lewis gets to do. It, it is sadly true. <laughs> Okay, so don't really always get epic shots. You know, you go into something really wanting it to work and it doesn't always work out. So Acadia Air Tours was really cool. Um, being able to hang out in the planes and fly around, the guys who run the place are great. The woman at the front desk is great. Everybody was awesome. But a Cessna epic shot just didn't really work out on this one, so. shaking here okay well then you need to wait until we get outside can you do that good boy no! yeah duke has extreme anxiety um he's even medicated for it so that can sometimes make traveling a little tough with duke and then poor sweet fat lewis he um He's just a hot mess. He just, he loves people and life so much, but he um, is allergic to everything. I mean, everything. He's allergic to unfiltered water, mulch, grass. So yeah, we have to bathe Lewis quite frequently um, to keep his skin allergies under wraps. Is we gotta wash in between all of his wrinkles because bulldogs are prone to all kinds of skin issues. So we'll go get on his crevices. Somehow they just managed to make it a difficult experience. And then when they are being obedient, because Trevor's got them trained very well, they look at me like I'm torturing them. It's so mean. That stinks. Duke must have just gone to the bathroom. That is <laughs> it's a bad first impression of New Hampshire. It's gross, Duke. So this is a real um, dilemma that happens to us a lot and you'd think we would learn a lesson. Um, we can't find a place to stay tonight. So all of the truck stops are pretty far away from uh, where we just stopped and all of the campgrounds to make a reservation closed a little over an hour and a half ago. Stress that doesn't need to be had by having the dogs just run 50 feet in every direction. Sorry. It doesn't need to happen. So it's a little bit of a ghost town. There's absolutely no signs about parking or instructions of any kind. So we just walked like half a mile and found this 
ticket place. So we're gonna see if this can give us some information. We really don't even know where we are. We don't even know what Castle McLeod is. Oh, that place definitely not open. Nope. No luck here. So, couldn't find camping, called like eight different campgrounds. Apparently, everything in the state shuts down at 6 p.m., which is a pain. Um, and we don't really reach too far ahead because we don't know where we're going to go, where we're going to be. So, I'm doing my best to hide Wazamu among three trolleys. And as you can see, it's not working so well. I already checked from a little ways away and uh we stand out quite a bit so that's where we're at tonight gonna wake up crack of dawn tomorrow morning uh which will be like i think 4 45 something like that tomorrow morning uh to get some sunrise pictures and apparently there's like six or seven really cool waterfalls here so this is the ongoing daily struggle of this lifestyle is parking, where are we going to park, what are we going to do, but most of the time it works out. The Enneagram 2 in me is so uncomfortable with this. We did not get away with parking here last night. Um, we got a note on our windshield um, telling us to not park here again. It's like so awkward because we really like did not want to stay here and we really did look everywhere and there really were no signs. And it's really not that big of a deal, but man, I hate feeling like people think that we took advantage of them or like, I don't know, it's just really. We're sorry, Castle in the Cloud, we won't do it again. I know we always put each other first. It's me and you and all of in the middle. place claims that so many of these spots are uh, waterfalls definitely not waterfalls but this last one the song. was uh was good it was so